Okay, in this problem, we want to rewrite this equation in factored form. Right now, it looks like it's in standard form. I'd like to get it into factored form. And so remember, I want it to look something like a times x minus r1 times x minus r2. Uh, and in order to do that, I basically just am going to have to factor this. So let's begin by looking for a GCF. That's kind of the first thing we want to do. And right now you might think, oh, I can pull a 2 out, uh, but it looks like it's not a common factor between all of the terms. Yes, I can pull it out of here and out of here, but I can't pull it out of this negative 7. So unfortunately, this is not um, a GCF. So it's a good thing I checked, but I don't have one. What this is is going to be one of those a is greater than 1 problems. So this is going to involve uh, factoring by grouping. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. And if you recall, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply the a value times the c value. So that's going to give me a 12. And I'm going to use uh, that 12, and that's going to serve as my product. I'm looking for two numbers where the product is 12. And I'm going to look at my b value to find out what my sum should be. So I'm looking for a sum of negative 7. And uh, since I know my factors of 12 pretty well, I know that those numbers are going to be negative 4 and negative 3. So what those numbers tell me what to do is they tell me how to split up this middle term. I can split this up into a negative 4x minus 3x and that's what I'm going to do first. Uh, let's go ahead and do that right here. y is going to equal 2x squared. I'm keeping that the same and we're going to split up the 7x into negative 4x minus 3x plus 6. So I'm kind of setting the stage so I can now split this into two groups. I'm going to kind of put a separator down the middle here and now I want to look for the GCF of the first group and then the GCF of the second group. So looking at uh, the first group, it looks like I have a GCF of 2x. I can pull a 2x out of both of these things. So let's see, y is going to equal 2x and if I pull a 2x out of just these two terms, I have an x minus 2. And then over in this group, uh, the GCF looks like it's going to be a, a negative 3. So I'll pull a negative 3 out of both of these terms, and I have an x uh, minus 2. Notice that because I pulled the negative out, that's going to flip this sign to a negative 2. So this is good because what I want is I want to make sure that these two binomials are the same. If they're the same now, I can factor those out. And so y is going to equal x minus 2. Now imagine that I just factored both of those things out here. And, oops, undo that. Imagine that I factored both of those things out. And what I want to do is, is draw like a little... Um, rectangle here. If I factor this out and I factor this out, let's look at what lef what's, uh, what's left over here. So it looks like I have a 2x and a minus 3 left over. So that's going to be what my next factor is. And that's basically what I'm doing here. All right, I'm going to get rid of this. And get rid of this. So I'm just going to re uh, rewrite this one more time up here as my final factored form. y is going to equal 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. And here's my factored form.